Hey everybody, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel, uh, injector job. So we've got an injector replacement tech tip. Here you go, particularly on Hiluxes, and uh, it wasn't a problem on this one. And it never used to be for decades, and that's why the old videos have got good information in them, and the new videos have got even better info, because more up to date than what we're seeing these days. A couple of the Hiluxes we worked on in the last uh, 10 years, had a bit of a problem taking the valve cover bolts out. You know, that's these ones in these holes here, those holes there. Thanks for that cleaning, mate. You can uh, keep going in front of the camera. That's all right, I don't mind, you know. Um, this one's a bit of a grubby thing, isn't it, everybody? Um, oil changes, yeah, a little bit, but maybe missed a few here or there. That's why it's a bit blacker than usual. It's not too bad, we've seen worse. But in particular, this bolt down at the back here. So that one in the back corner there, um, and it does go through the bottom, see there? Which is maybe why it's the one that's prone to a bit more corrosion and stuff like that. So what I'm recommending is for anyone that's ever going to do an injector replacement job on their Hilux or even their Prada for that matter, just happens to be the Hiluxes, they were ex-mine vehicles. Um, and it could happen again soon. So what I'm recommending, if you're going to do your injector replacement job or you're going to contact us and get an injector kit for a injector replacement job on a Hilux, Start spraying some CRC, some Inox, any of this sort of product you've got on that bolt thread there in the lead up. So before you even get your injector kit, before you're even in the VIP group, and I recommend you join the VIP group if you're in Australia and you can get an injector kit from me, it's the only place to get an injector kit if you want to make sure it's all right the first time with the backup service from someone that actually knows the jobs and has done hundreds or thousands of these jobs before. Um, Get your spray nozzle, get your hand down through this gap here while your intercooler's on. Just sort of go down here and get your can and just point it upwards into that hole there, right? And just get it soaking and get it spraying regularly. Each day when you come home from work while it's nice and hot, give it a spray. You know, you can spray some in the gap between the valve cover and that as well. Just try and get it soaking there and penetrating. You probably won't have an issue, but it's only gonna help, okay? And I think it's important to get in there because I noticed, what do you people think? What do you reckon, mate? Have you noticed if you spray something, if you give it a lot of time to soak, it works better than, you know? Have you noticed that yourself? What do you think? Correct, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. time for it to That's soak it, in. exactly. Look at this filthy thing. Look at that mess there, that's ridiculous. Anyway, I said it'd be a quick video. This time it really is just a quick tech tip, tech tip on injector replacement. So uh, yeah, bada bing, bada boom, catch you on the next video.